Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa as we analyze the biggest sentiment stories and have trending lifestyle conversations. My name is Osi Godwin. I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi. Hello. Hey guys. So let me help you in case you are confused. This is Ife Omai. This is Nimi Dekombi. She was sitting here in the morning, now she's there. Yeah. We are we'll switched. In mm, just in case. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. So um, Naramali. Shout out to Malians, I guess. He's announcing online concerts for Malian Day. And I hear Malian Day is 30th of May. I never knew they had such a thing. Such a thing. Are you Malian? Mm. Okay. Are you? Nope. So there's no Malian on the table. Yeah. 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 If it's not here, yeah. if it's okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I don't understand the whole, it's free. Was it, are, were people going to pay for <laughs> 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 but I saw the write up was really hammering on the fact that the the <laughs> online concert is free. I'm like, which online concert so far has, have we had to pay for? I don't yeah, understand. Yeah. It's not like a webinar or you're yeah. coming to teach us how to become a Malian. Is it? <laughs> it's, it's very well, yeah, funny. kudos to him. Um, I'm sure Malians will be excited about that. Mm -hmm. I, and I think it's one of the. Are Malians online? Do they really Hi. go to like YouTube? Mm -hmm. and uh, no, they're they do. He has his views now. He's not racking his views. Uh. On, on YouTube, his videos do okay. They do. Yeah, well. and even on Twitter, he has a following. So yeah. Mm. Who are self no, but you know, there's a difference Malian. between racking up views and then having um, a solid, solid fan base that would come to your life Malian, and watch you. Malian's I think they're actually on the streets, but well, we'll see. We'll see how that <laughs> goes. Yeah, we'll yeah, keep yeah, an yeah. eye on it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I I wanted to say that I hope that this would um, birth the rise of online. Concerts because it's not just anything. Nigeria. We've been having online concerts now in Nigeria, in Nigeria. by Nigerians. Uh, okay, that's well, the, okay, like they like focus like on doing them, mainly yeah. online concerts. So like headlining your yeah, own, yeah, your own concerts yeah. because like it was kind it will save the stress of What's all. What's the of difference the... with um, all this? They yeah, are going live on Instagram one to one because now when I open my Instagram page, like live, I'm like you will be alright. I just scroll through, scroll through. Yeah. I get to the human beings I know and look at their stories. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would be it would be interesting. I feel it would um, prevent the cases where we have you know stampeding or people getting robbed during concerts. So everybody would just sit down in their house ah, and vibe. Yeah, taking out socialization. Ah, we just want to come out of our house. Yeah, you can't you like, can't take that ah, away. From. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of myself because I mean, that that is the is only good, kind yeah. of concert that I might really enjoy right. where I'm sitting in my house. And well, you know, the stress. only way you can outside. enjoy or even myself can enjoy this idea of this kind of concert is if. Nigerian artists can really put in effort in doing anything yeah. they want like to do. Sound, like production, Like, do you understand? Everything. Now, even look at the series of Stay With Me um, concerts that um, YouTube, YouTube. Um, have been doing before this one they are going to do today. Like, they've been doing, you remember the one with Asha yeah, and yeah. all that? It was only Asha that had a perfect sound. Yeah. Like, she didn't come on to tell you, testing mic, my speaker is not working, I can't hear her, I can't hear the sound. Mm. It was perfect. And that is the kind of effort that I'm expecting. Yeah, from other from, people. I mean, she put up a concert. It's easy mm. for you to know that. It's not somebody sitting in front of his... This guy's to do really you know, well. X-Switch, I don't know if you know them on on, Twi on YouTube, where they'll get um, Tuba Baba to um, perform Tua Savage song mm. and Tua Savage perform. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they, 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 their sound to the is, sound is yeah, So, yeah, they need to put yeah. in an effort and also understand yeah. that it's still supposed to give us a vibe of a concert, not you just playing your Green. song. If yeah. you just want to play your song, my, I'm sure my sound on my TV or my house will be better than me that, like, listening yeah. on TV. So I can just, you know, so I just hope they put in effort and that's yeah. the only way this can start giving the kind of effect it's supposed to be. Sure. But if we'll be on the live and in the next 30 minutes we are still doing sound check, you they hear me now, but type A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on quickly. So, um, Yemi Alade, who says she's drinking her tea and minding her business. She says, and I quote, I'm here to work and feed my family. Anything extra is a blessing from God. If it depends you say I they sing and I they win. Go do your own. Nobody hold your mouth. This came after social media users said um, comparing after Emma Yabaga asked Cindy to see which female artist in Nigeria can match up Tiwa Savage in a contest. So what did he say? I'm not sure. I thought he said Yemi Alade. Did he mention her? I, I thought he said that. I don't think I he, he, he expressly said that. didn't say anyone's name. That's mm. why. So, it was, so who now suggested Yemi Alade? Why is Yemi Alade Because Yemi social media. No, because you <coughs> say no one, no one reaches Tiwa Savage, and there's Yemi Alade who's also big in her rights, then you have pretty much made her invincible. Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't know what it is. Like I don't know why Nigerians don't like 
Yeah, yeah, like it was very clear. Abroad, because Nigerians yeah, don't exactly, like that's good what I wanted to say that, that that is only in Nigeria that I know that Yemi Alade is not a big deal. She fam, is a big like, deal in other African the, countries. Dude, like Yemi Alade deal. is a big it's not a deal dude. She's everywhere. Not a dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yemi Alade is a huge deal everywhere else that I know. Like mm -hmm. even abroad, like you're talking about She's African a music. big deal to me. Um. I, don't I don't know what, what is it wrong is. with people on social media. Because some people were like that. They don't think that Yemi Alade can match with Tiwa Savage. They don't think she has the um she has enough hits. Uh -uh. And, and, I, and I think that a lot of Nigerians just like, they just, I don't know how they categorize music. But when it comes to music production, I think, I think they just Alade listen to commercial songs. Exactly. They just do on. the songs that It's also not just commercial radio. songs. She also has an African sound. I mean, um, yeah. Savage for me is very Western. Mm. And it kind of makes me worry that why would you not even like your, that's one of the reasons why I like No, I think Yemi she is more Western than Tiwa Savage. Because yeah, Tiwa Savage yeah, still yeah, has true, true. the Afrobeats yeah, vibe going she, on. Yeah, because she sings in Yoruba. So she has that. But when it even comes to this Instagram battle of a thing, which takes me back to, I mean, watching M.I. and um, Nisho C was nostalgic, like, I, I had that's fun. that's what it was going to yeah, be. It was good, thing. but now, like, following what you just said, it's just a case of you are sitting down, you are playing your best record or the record you've chosen, and we listen. It's not like there's really a battle that you're going to spit rhymes and spit. Yeah. So they should stop making this battle deal look like one better. big deal. So if... I even want to agree, which of course I won't agree, that Tiwa Savage is a better artist or a better performing artist. Of course, that's never possible. She's yeah. not even a better performing artist than yeah, Yemi Alaji. Yeah, but let's say we want to agree to that and they have to compete. All she needs to do is to sit down and look for her hits, whether it's 10 songs mm. people are doing, and play it. It's not like there's any extra effort needed to battle this whole Instagram live thing. Yeah. I, I don't and know. And I even think if we were to compare um, success, like especially in Africa, I would say that Yemi Alade is actually Huge. more popular. No, of course because she, she has a Huge. lot of songs in other languages. That's yes. one thing that people don't understand. She has a lot of songs in other languages, so that means that she has, and she does African tours. That's mm -hmm. why like, she's Mama Africa. Baby. Exactly, yes. she's Mama Africa. So I feel like people don't actually they give don't, her the credit that, that, that yeah. she deserves. Yeah. I think they, I put Simi and Yemi Alade in the same boat. I get the same vibe for Simi. Like people just don't like. I think I think things songs that you can play in the club in Nigeria is yeah. like you're not singing. You have not started singing yeah. yet. Yeah. And I, I think I think Yemi Alade should just do more of what she used to do, which is what Simi is doing right now, not to respond to things mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. or if you want to come down hard on them. Like you don't need it. Like you said, what you're doing is working hard and feeding people and the extra works for you. So yeah. just keep on doing what you're doing because there are people who genuinely see That's the correct. work exactly. and they appreciate it. Even mm -hmm. though sometimes I say, <laughs> add small lyrics to your lyrics, yeah? <laughs> but it's okay. Tea time will continue right after this break. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. At Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. So as a guy, there are some self-delusions you should never fall for. Top on the list that is that your woman loves you unconditionally. Every man, and I mean every single man, is loved on the condition that they are able to provide. Women don't play that. Mm. Women are loved unconditionally. Children, same pets too. But as a man, you are loved under the condition that you are someone valuable or that you provide something valuable. No man loves you unconditionally. He kept on saying that and that over again. Um, that's social commentator Uluni Gates. Mm. Yeah. From the first moment when I saw this tweet, I already knew that it was just saying nonsense. Mm -hmm. Especially when he said that women and children and pets are loved unconditionally. I'm like, that, that does not even hold any water. We need to break it down. Women does he understand are not, what it means? Does he understand con what unconditional con love means? is? I've said this on this table before. Maybe I've not said it a lot, but I know I've tweeted about it, I've blogged about it too. Yeah. 
There's nothing like unconditional love, whether you agree no, with me or not. Nothing. You're not like, Jesus. I, I'm sorry. Except you want yeah, to be, even, even the Jesus. Yourself, if you but let's not enter that <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. think there is anything like unconditional, unconditional yeah. love. That person is definitely bringing something to the table that makes you think that yes. that um, uh, um, commitment or the coming together mm -hmm. is necessary. If yeah. not, it will not happen. Yeah. I think when people talk about unconditional love, sometimes they, they, they reference parental relationships, not sibling even relationships. Even no, 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 no. I think, they just, love you I think for them, condition is money. Yeah. I think, I think that's what the problem Except okay, so, if in this case, it's mm -hmm. talking about money being the condition, and you say women are loved unconditionally, well, which people, is not well, even people, true, true yes, at the end of the day. Uh, there's mm -hmm. no relationship in this life that isn't based on value. What are you bringing, bringing to, the to the table? table. Um, there's nothing. Even families, um, a lot of the times, even in Nigeria, for example, you see that a lot of our relationships or how our parents deal with us is based on their reputation. Yeah. So we love you as, especially when you are doing what we're supposed what to we do want you as to a do. family. If I start to do something now and I tattoo my neck or whatever it is that my parents deem unworthy, if I start to do that, to, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's... It's that in the Yeah, yeah but, They start like, to mm -hmm. So back. everything is unconditional. He, um, I don't think he knows what he's tweeting or maybe he, he is... He doesn't have to speak good English. I don't know what the problem ah. is here. Because <laughs> well, like, if he's saying that now the value that women place on being in relationships with men on a romantic sense is based on um, on uh, money and providing for your family. And that doesn't that doesn't um, um, affect the relationship you have with pets and, and women. That's still wrong. Because women still have conditions that they are placed under in terms of how they want to love you. I've never seen a man that wants a, a typical African man that wants to um, wife a woman who can who be cook. domesticated, who can have a child, give even get more to do, who can have a male, whatever. And then your pets. Have you ever had a pet that bites people, that eats the shoes, that, um, that, that can be everywhere. trained? And people get rid of that. So, like, there's not even, they, even when I want to try and understand where he's coming from, like, have you looked around? You know, some, sometimes, sometimes, and we're talking about this off offsets, sometimes I think privileged people find a a way to feel among and start to reach for problems to look for you're in a particular yeah, world you're, you're you're living your life and now you want to try and find some type of struggle because if you really looked at that and looked at yourself go out of, get put your head out of your of your butt and looked around and saw that women and children that have the most issues societally speaking you want to compare that to your, what are based on, on provision. How many house husbands are there and they're doing just fine? Mm -hmm. How many people can't provide and their women are the ones striving? Stepping up. The, what we don't see is when women don't give you that value that you have placed on us, we don't see commitments from you. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. see that ride or dieness. It's always about the women being perseverant. So please, Omar Gate, I mean, whatever your name is. <laughs> like, <Omar Gate. laughs> yeah, no, please. Yeah. I think it was very surprising that some people um, were tweeting in support of what he said. A they were lot, like, actually. spot on. You are, you are saying weird. This is the same. Saying I'm, the I'm not even surprised at all. Even I, though when was, he said the first one, if mm. I my agreed with him, but I already knew at that point that there's something wrong with his head. Mm. When he, I think we had that conversation on this table as well, when he said that um, um, he cannot buy, is it 150,000 yeah, ring or something to guy. engage a lady? I'm like, okay, mm. uh -huh. so I'm not sure we can be friends. Talk more of being <laughs> romantic friends, you know. So yeah, it's his opinion, but sometimes when you put it out, really this one, he wasn't putting it out as, as this opinion. is how I think. He was putting it out as a fact, a, a, as a, a general fact. truth. As a, yeah, a general truth, Such a matter a of fact. fact. And that's a fact of life. Is. And he probably needs to sit down to think about it because it's not all about money. I think he's yes. around women and that I think he can money, provide for. Is I think money problem? is just one of the many things yeah. that amounts to value in any form of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So and I think that, that I think the problem with his tweet is he was looking at it from only that angle, saying that men are valued because of the money that they provide, and he's not looking at there the other. There are so many women that are providing for their families. Family. Family. That, that, like, that's the like, like, thing. This, 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 this should have done like in 2009 minus in something or something. Like it's too. Even stale. in 1990, just that yeah, the women, women then were not vocal about what they are doing and their a struggles. Home, yeah. Now a man is comfortable with coming out to tell you how he provided for his wife, how he mm -hmm. bought Aika, he did that. But if a woman does that, she's not submissive. Yeah. She's not she's humble. Arrogant, she's, yeah. she's arrogant. She's so why is it that you are comfortable with telling us how you have paid the school fees from primary one to university? Yeah. But if a woman wants to say that, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I think again, it's men a should sit down It's a think. system that a lot of men have enforced. It's a system that they have you, maintained. You, you so why are you crying foul? Thank you. You are the why one you that said you want to be the head of the family. You want to be the one to provide. You want to be the one to provide. Then you are not crying. 
complaining, complaining that we are saying that women are loved unconditionally. I'm like, yes, it doesn't even hold water because a lot of women are even judged mm. harshly. Yes. Because the standards by which you judge women is way higher. You judge women on higher moral standards. You judge women on higher um, spiritual standards. It's very, very different for women. So the unconditional love, I don't know where it comes from, to be Don't honest. be offended. If your Lua is not here to, to, <laughs> to support, support or to <laughs> speak for the men, but we might carry this conversation over. But moving on, um, to think that some of our teachers flogged us back then in school for speaking our language, calling it vernacular, can you imagine? You speak your own language, you get flogged. All those teachers should be ashamed of themselves. Or both people really messed up our brains. And this mm. is coming from Nollywood actor Yudi Duche. Yeah, I actually agree with that. And um, for me, I feel like it's a huge effect of decolonization mentality. I'm going to give this example. When I was in secondary school, there was this girl who was, I don't know if she's mixed race or if she's, uh, if she's a white person, but she's white passing. And in our class, they asked all the students who had natural hair to cut their hair. Wow. But for her, they left her hair. They said that, mm. oh, that is a natural hair. They did not touch her hair. So she was like the only one in her set. I can see imagine being had. in that class. <laughs> and she never ever weaved her hair. Her hair was just flowing. Mm. So you can what? see that there's a huge problem, even in the way people think. You are allowing a white student. You say, you're saying that all the black students oh should God. cut their hair. Mm. But you are leaving. And, and, and even... If you leave your natural hair, they'll tell you that you should pack it a certain way. Mm -hmm. That you cannot leave your hair like this. You have to weave it. You have to do this. So there are so many rules that, were in, were, whether we like it or not, were enforced from that colonial mentality. So I, I totally resonate with what he's saying. You would speak your normal, um, your natural language, and you're not encouraged to do that. They'll tell you that you can only speak your language during your Yoruba class, or during Igbo class, or during Hausa class. Mm. It's only during those times that you're allowed to speak you know, the language that you... And, and that's the reason why I, we have I to I get where you're coming so from. I, I do. Yeah, however, yeah, a however, there is a however. I get it. I mean, there is a mindset in this part of the to world that except you attach something foreign to something, yeah. they are not, it's not a gay yeah. it's not serious. Yeah. And I, I try to consciously call back people I call my friends on that to tell them, I mean, look at this, look at this. And I think mm. with one conversation at a time with people around you, we might be able to change that mindset. However, I don't think we should be hard on teachers. people, not just teachers, people that have come from the journey of colonization to try to even understand themselves. Because I try to look at it from where he's coming from, or it didn't sit well with me. Because if you go to countries that were colonized by the French as well, they speak French. Yeah. You know, so sometimes when those things come to you, it will take a while for you to begin to understand how to structure them in a way that is still, you get the value of what is being brought to you, but you don't lose your culture and your tradition. Yeah, like and I think that's what we are, yeah. yeah and I think that's what it's we are too, battling right yeah. now, yeah. and I hope that we can win it in a certain type of way. I have much to say, but I want to touch on it before we go. Okay. Um. I. I. The. This conversation has to have that balance, and I like that you gave that example. But on the flip side, maybe this example of colonization is something I don't agree with. I think with the hair is very clear. Yeah. But when it comes to language, I think it's really important to be on the board on the ship of international language which is english that we speak at least if you are promoting uh, what's it called vernacular in school then you don't have the time to practice english you don't have the time to to sound right especially for the media industry i'm very glad that i don't have my mother tongue affecting my my speaking english doesn't mean i don't i speak my yoruba mm, i'm trying <laughs> i speak my yoruba nicely but um I've, I've seen people who speak better yoruba than me and still can separate that Both. good english mm -hmm. i mean he's tweeting with english so there is a there's a need for for teachers to still implement that, not to cut your mm. natural hair, but to be able to ask you. No, to I think speak I actually Yoruba understand where he's coming from. He's talking about the demonization yes. of speaking that language. Yeah, yeah. You, which I said we need to like find a balance exactly. and talk yeah. about it. We'll yeah. find our footing, but it will take a, a time. It takes a while, but we can't just go hard on everybody. Yeah. They are just yeah. trying to get it right as yeah. well. Okay, tea time ends right here, and I think it's been an amazing conversation. My thank you, as always, will go to my co-anchors for making this happen, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi and the entire production team. You can also send your opinion via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.